Hi, this is Jim Ben with Homestyle Southern Cooking. It's so great to be back with you today and to see you. Um, I'm going to bring you another recipe today. This is one from the, around the 50s, 40s and 50s that some of you probably have never heard of or never tried, but it was very popular, I know, in the 50s. We're going to make a cinnamon pie, and you'll think a cinnamon pie, but it's really good, and um, it's, it's a lost recipe that people, I never hear people talk about it. So this morning I made a pie crust, and I have it already. But you don't have to make your pie crust. You can go to the store and buy a ready-made pie crust if you want to. They have them. I wish, I wish we had ready-made pie crust here sometime. We don't. We don't have ready-made. We don't have you know anything. I have to make them all unless I use my crescent roll. So anyhow, okay. I've got a, a stick of, of a Philadelphia cream cheese that's, that's softened. To that, I'm going to add one cup of brown sugar. Now I'm going to take my mixer. I'm going to mix this until this gets good, good and floppy. Nice and fluffy. It's real stiff, but I've got it nice and fluffy. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. And to this, I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. There's one. And you know Mexico has the best vanilla in the world, and I'm just saying that because I live here, but it's, it's a known fact. So if you ever have anybody coming to Mexico, ask them to bring you some vanilla back. Make sure that it's pure Mexican vanilla. I know when I go home at Christmas time, my daughter likes to cook, and she always asks me to bring vanilla back for her and her friends. So vanilla here is incredible. Okay, then I've got three eggs. I'm going to take the first egg and put it in my... Oop, I just broke by itself in there. Take my second egg. And we'll put, well, let me tell you, somebody's going to do this while I'm doing this. I'm going to use all, put those two eggs in there. I need an extra yolk, is what I'm trying to do. So it's two eggs and an extra yolk. Okay, so there's my extra, yeah, extra yolk. So I've got two eggs in there and one extra yolk. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to beat these up a little bit. Okay, I've got those all beat up. So now I'm going to put in here, I've got one half teaspoon of nutmeg. Put that in there. And this is when the cinnamon comes in. I have three and a half teaspoons tablespoons of cinnamon. That's a lot of cinnamon, but we're all having a cinnamon pie. I'm going to put about a teaspoon of salt in there, and I've got a cup and a half of heavy cream. Put my cup and a half of heavy cream in here. Okay, sit there for, there for a second. And then I've got one-fourth a cup of all-purpose flour. I can put that in there also. Then I'll mix these really well together. You get the stir up a little bit so that uh, cinnamon doesn't go flying all over the house. Of course, it'd be nice if it would smell like Christmas all day long here today. Okay, I'm going to scrape the sides down on this a little bit. Make sure it's pretty well. And you see how smooth it is, the consistency? That's what I want. I'm going to run it for another 15 seconds. And then I'm done. Put these in the sink. Get my pie plate here. And then I'm going to pour this into my crust. I, I wanted to look up before I came to, to your home today and see if I could find out where this originated. 
because I'd like to know where a lot of the pies originated. I know that I've had it before, um, but I don't know where it originated or where it come, came from for us. But anyhow, it is a cinnamon pie. I'm going to put some oven set at 350, and this is going to bake for about 35 minutes until, it's, until it slightly jiggles in the center. Then when I take it out, I know it'll set. So we'll put this in my oven, then I'll be back to you. Welcome back. I stepped out for a few minutes. Well, that's actually been like half, half an hour, 45 minutes, and came back, and our cinnamon pie is cooled. It did crack on me a little bit. Um, but anyhow, we're, we're going to cut it and see what it tastes like. So, I tried, I researched after I got off the line with, with you guys, trying to find if I could find out the history of cinnamon pie. I found the history of, oh, well, I'm not doing too good right now. The, the history of every other kind of pie in the world, but not the cinnamon pie. could be very interesting. I love the color. The color is nice and dark. It almost looks like a chocolate pie. Um, so here goes. It has the consistency of like a pumpkin pie almost. And it kind of reminds you of pumpkin pie, I guess, because it's so much cinnamon. But it's really, really good. It's not that sweet. Um, but boy, you can really tell it's a cinnamon pie. Mm. That'd be really good after a dinner. Something different, something new that I got a chance to bring to you. Thank you so much for letting me come into your home today and bringing this to you. Keep on following me on Facebook and subscribing to me on YouTube. You're my support. I appreciate you. Um, gosh, I had a funny story that I was going to tell you, but I'll wait and tell you another time um, about cinnamon. But until next time, this is Jim in Mexico saying that I'm thinking about you. Take care of yourself. God bless.